Hey, TJ. Good morning. Rob Sisternino uh, here with Brian Cohen, who is one of our chief challenge correspondents here on Rob Has a Podcast. Very excited about the challenge CBS. Can you tell us a little bit about how uh, this edition of the challenge is going to be different than some of the uh, many different iterations of the challenge you've done in the past? Um, yeah, these these challengers here are are they're all from different shows that that are all CBS shows, right? So we have Love Island, Big Brother, um, The Amazing Race, and Survivor, and those are the heavy hitting shows. You know, the heavy hitting huge massive shows if there was a, a blockbuster of a reality show that was it you know those ones are it and uh those those stars and those people are all coming to our show our little challenge show and making waves not so, so little not so little tj <laughs> it's it's pretty cool <laughs> So, so TJ, obviously some Survivor and Big Brother people have, uh, you know, participated in the regular challenge show. So did you have any familiarity with any of these people coming on? Or is this for you just a completely new batch of fresh meat people that uh, you're going to start interacting with? Um, it's 100% fresh batch of new people. Um, it was awesome. It, and they were all beautiful, too, by the way. I was like, oh, my gosh. Look at these people. When I came out, I was taken back. I was like, man, this is crazy like these people are, are stunning i hope they can compete as good as they look uh, TJ, how does it change things up? Because uh, so many times, you know, you have people that are brought back over and over again on the challenge. But here in, in this format, you have all people who've never played uh, the challenge before. How, how does that uh, change things up? Um, well, if you don't come in with any preconceived notions, uh, you don't know anybody, you don't, you have no idea what to expect. And I love to see their wide eyes at the challenges. It was awesome. So, um, and every one of them did really well. Well, most of them. So obviously, uh, TJ, the challenge is known for very extreme physical challenges and stunts and things that, you know, people on the show, they train 24-7, 365 to do these things very well. So did you feel that uh, the level of physicality and the challenges matched up to what we're accustomed to seeing on the challenge? Or do you think things were a little bit lighter for this group of people? How did, how did you feel the, the challenges uh, leveled up? Um. Uh, if, if I'm being honest, it was a little tiny bit softer than, than the MTV stuff, only because we weren't sure what to expect. But the volume quickly got turned up. So it, you'll see, like, they can handle it. They're, 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 most of them can handle it. There's a couple of challengers in there that I would love to see cross over and, and, and really go for it. You know, like the Dannys and the Tysons and the Bens and Angela, um, Alyssa, uh, she was awesome too. They, they are real challengers. Like these are really great challenge people. And um, so I think that they would be awesome on the, on the regular show as well. TJ, what's something about the challenge that being on some of these other shows that these contestants uh, coming in that they were not prepared for? Um, I think that most of them, sorry, uh, I think most of them were, were pretty damn prepared. I think, but I think that maybe they, they didn't think it was going to be so physical and so demanding, you know, and then there was a couple of like, there's a couple of times that I was just taken away, uh, taken back by, by the poor performances. <laughs> like, like, like a couple of the guys that, that looked all yoked and just amazing. Like these dudes' bodies were just specimens. And then, and then they get out on the field and they just couldn't do anything. And you're like, what are you doing, bro? Like, come on. You're, no, you're not. You're better than that. And then they weren't. But then you put them in another situation and they absolutely killed it. They did great, but not against any any serious situation. You know, I mean, there it's hard to it's hard to not tell you what <laughs> what's mm -hmm. what, but sure, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very very like suspect, man. I, like a couple of the couple of the guys, I was like, come on, man, really? 
you're, you're really scared of that, that part, really? And so I, I just, I just couldn't believe it, you know? Obviously, one of the big parts of the challenge is a lot of the house drama, which sometimes spill over into uh, some of the dailies, the competition. Sometimes you see some fighting there. Um, obviously, you know, the, the fighting portion of the house is not your expertise. Uh, you just want to show up and uh, enjoy the competition. But did you get a sense that that level of drama uh, kind of matched up to what you know we might see from people that more come from the real world and things like that? No, I think that these people were all very, very friendly. They were really sweet and really kind um, for the most part. I think there might be a couple of little blow-ups, but I, the MTV guys are nuts. They're, they're crazy. Like, I don't know what you're like, dude. <laughs> but these people were, like, more sensible a lot of times and a little bit too sensible in some, some cases. But they, all, they always brought it. So it was a very interesting thing. I think – couple of times people got some feelings hurt and there was there was some words said but um they were they were uh they were pretty chill i, I like i like them a lot tj did you find that these players that are coming off of some of these other reality shows when they come in are, are they more likely to want to mix it up with you when they get out there um sometimes yeah a little bit here and there like, and do you, you like know, that they, they're yeah, it was cool. It was like, it's okay. They were all cool. They were like, everybody's very respectful, very cool, and, and, and very sweet. Like I said, they were, that's the biggest difference that I could find between the two shows is the, the, the reality show people from the CBS world are, are pretty pro and, and, and very beautiful, and they're doing their thing. The MTV world, they're, they're, they're a little more gritty. I think you need to start complimenting some of the MTV people's looks. I think they're going to start getting a little, uh, no, a little bad disgusting. about this. We're, we're all disgusting. We're the same. We're all disgusting. We got stars on our faces. We're just, we're just people. Now, now they're, they're, they know what time it is, but it's yeah. like they, they're just very, uh, they're gritty people, man. They're, they're, they're down. They're down. It's hard to, to say, you know, who, who would win. I would love to see them go against each other someday. It would be awesome. It would be really difficult to, to try and compete with a uh, 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 Danny or a Tyson in, in you know a survival situation or a running race, right? You're not beating Danny in a running race. There's no way. I don't care who you are. But Nelson is very very fast from the MTV world, and he is, I mean, lightning fast. And and but I think that he would be getting smoked by Danny, which would be awesome, you know. So, so TJ, um, obviously this is like a new iteration of the challenge, but can we expect to see some of the challenge daily staples that we would come to know, like Hall Brawl, yes. Paul Wrestle, Trivia, yes. are those making the leap over? I, I, I believe you will see some staples. I, let's just say that. I don't know exactly which games, which mm -hmm. which stuff, uh, which things that will happen exactly, but but I'm pretty damn sure that we're going we're gonna to be happy. So TJ, now that uh, you're hosting the challenge CBS, is has the group text started with you, Propes, uh, Phil Kogan, Julie Chen, Moonves, uh, all of like the 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 CBS uh, pantheon reality show hosts now? Yeah, yeah, we all have this sick group chat, and uh, no, but, <laughs> but if we did, it'd be fun. It'd be really cool. Like I would love to be on a text message with those people. <laughs> you trade some message, boy. <laughs> is this guy a real a hole or what? Is that was that your yeah. experience? Yeah. Exactly. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Exactly. Like, is he really like this on your show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened to this guy? So, with all this uh, Survivor Big Brother people coming to our show, who do you think would do the best from kind of the MTV world if they made the jump to a Survivor Big Brother? Do you have a sense of who would actually do well if they made the cross leap to one of the the other shows? First of all, I'm glad you called it our show. Because our, it it's our, our show. show. It, it is. is our show. That, thank you. And because um, if it wasn't for you and, and, and everybody else like you, we wouldn't even have this show and it wouldn't even be a deal. It would, that's it. So thank you very much, by mm -hmm. the way. And uh, I think, yeah, we have some heavy hitters, dude. Like, I think Tyson would kill it on the regular challenge. And he's like 42 or three years old. And he's, he's a badass. Just and turn 43. Danny, yeah. Yeah, he's badass, dude. He's awesome. Um, uh, ben, Ben is another 
really awesome dude. Alyssa was amazing. Um, Angela killed it. Um, there, there's some pretty heavy hitters on the show um, that, that are very, very skilled in a lot of different areas. And, and But then there's also some people that you're just like, huh, come on, man. <laughs> well, do you know what the show is? <laughs> mm-hmm. TJ, so this is uh, also billed as the Challenge USA. And so from what I understand that the the, uh, the winner of this will compete against the winners of other international editions of the, the Challenge. Can you just uh, explain that a little bit? Yes, sir. There's, uh, there's, there's a couple of different countries that are having challenges as well, like Argentina, Australia, England, and, and the USA. So they're all having challenges as well soon. And they're all going to have their winning people. And then I think, you know, they'll put them all together somehow. And, and in November or December or yeah, whenever we get around to it, we'll film the world championship and it'll be awesome. And it'll be um, everybody collectively coming together and trying to win the world championship. And it'll be the When do you get seven. some time off, TJ? Uh, there's no such thing as that. <laughs> for what? For what? Mm-hmm. For what? You know what I mean? Yeah. Here we are. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, um, I go home for three weeks or a month here and there in between shoots. Um, so it's, it happens fast, though, man. It's not enough time. Like, you're, you're, you're home for a couple weeks, and you're like, oh, my God, I already have to go again in a couple weeks. And you know, the, you know the, the time when you're leaving? how you get like a little bit of a like a gut check like you're leaving you're getting ready to leave you're like oh man i only got five showers left you know what i mean <laughs> so, so, so I, that happens with me like all the time i'm like oh man oh i'm gonna miss you and i look at my dogs i'm like i'm sorry i'm sorry i love you all right and brian a- anything else for tj that you spent uh so many years covering the show a- anything else you're dying to know from tj no, it's easy. It's just an absolute pleasure. You're you're my favorite host on any show, so right. it's an honor. Thank it's an brother. honor. I appreciate you. No, it's Let's honor keep it is up. mine. I'm serious. Like the honor is mine. I, I really believe that. Like I am the luckiest dude in the world. So thank you, thank you for doing what you do, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, TJ. Uh, thank you for making Take time uh, for us, and uh, we can't wait to check out everything that's going on in the challenge. Right, Later, man. Take July care. Six. Take care. Bye. Brian, see you, mate. You too.